Yeah. Uh, speaking of acting, are you going to be uh, narrating the audiobook for Crying and Laughing? I will not. Great question. I did narrate the, the first two Denton books, and that was a pure joy. Uh, really, that was that was so cool to kind of fuse my, my past acting life with my current writing life and get to, to be in the booth doing that. But since Winnie is a female protagonist, I will not uh, narrate it. And also, the right audiobook rights have not been bought yet, so there's no guarantee it will be made into an audiobook ever. I really hope it will be. Um, but if it happens, I'm actually really hoping my wife, Katie, narrates it. She actually is an audiobook narrator. Uh, she's also a writer herself, but much like me, she's an actor-turned-writer. Uh, and she's such a great narrator, and she's so funny, and I think she'd do an amazing job narrating. So is that, there that... a place online we can send a steamed audience to go check her out? Yes, yes, absolutely. I mean, I guess if you just look her up on Audible, you'll, you'll find all of her, the books she's narrated. She would be mortified that I'm sharing this uh, because she always cringes listening to her own voice, but she's a fantastic narrator. Her name is Katie, K-A-T-I-E, uh, Shore, S-C-H-O-R-R. She's narrated everything from adult books like The Hating Game, to uh, middle grade, young adult, uh, young adult series, Evermore by Allison Knoll. Anyway, she's, and she's an incredible writer. Um, she's written this book that has not yet been published, but it's so amazing. Uh, and uh, yeah, so you, I you listened to Evermore. Fantastic. You listened to it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I a... interviewed Allison Knoll, available at middlegradeninja.com uh, way back in the day. Uh, yeah. And I listened to the right. Evermore uh, audiobook. That's nuts. Well, you've listened to my wife katie narrate that's wonderful well, outstanding yeah uh, tell her to come on the show we'll talk audiobooks sometime <laughs> yeah i will i will great uh, with that uh i'm trying to think with that if, if i would if my wife uh narrated my audiobook if that would be a good thing for our marriage or a bad <laughs> thing <laughs> yeah well you could be in the booth with her like no no let's go back let's go back that was not the right read on that line that's 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 wrong it's wrong, sweetie. You don't get me at all. <laughs> yeah. I thought, I thought you were someone else. I thought you knew me. What uh, What was the experience like of recording your own audiobook uh, with the Denton Littles? Uh, it was good. It was good. It really was fun. I mean, it recording an audiobook in general, especially a book of any length, is just, it becomes a very exhausting experience. Even though you think like, yeah, you're just sitting there reading. But just using the voice and like putting all of that life and, uh, you know, excitement into the voice, depending on what part it is, doing different voices. Um, it's just it just like drains you. Of, it was nice that I really loved the book because I wrote it um, and it was it was a joy to bring it to life. But I remember coming in the second day and, and it was like I think it was three, maybe eight hour days where we recorded. You know, you take a lunch break, you take breaks for like eight hours. The beginning of the second day, I was like, oh, boy, wow. Eight hours of reading this thing. Okay. All right. Here we go. Here we go. I was like, and again, this is like, you could not love a book more than one that you wrote. But I was like, wow, geez, if I'm feeling this way about a book I wrote, I can't imagine being an audiobook narrator. You're going to come in for your second day. It's a book you don't like, maybe. And you're just like, all right, time to make the donuts. Let's read this thing. Let's read this thing. Um, and, and also, I, it was funny because like there are certain words that were bizarrely challenging to pronounce. I remember murdered, even saying that murdered is, is <laughs> it like comes out kind of marbly when I say it. And so I remember having to kind of just like do those lines again and be like, you know, what if I, what if I'm going to be murdered, murdered? And uh, I'm still struggling with it, but that, that's a funny thing when you've written these things and then it comes time to say it and you're like, that's, that's not how I imagine it sounding in my head. It's, I'm mangling these words. So who yeah. read my beautiful book? Yeah, hey, who did? why'd they run it? <laughs> did this? Who do you scream at? <laughs> funeral is hard too. Funeral when it's in the context of a sentence, when you're like, I was getting ready to go to my funeral. Fun funeral. Yeah, it's going all right now, but that was a tricky one. <laughs> all the death words: murdered, funeral. Yeah. If I ever read my own audiobook, which I don't think I will, because uh, I listen to this podcast and that's plenty. Um, but uh, it would probably be the book of David, just because I can't imagine foisting that on someone else. I, nah, I did it. I'll take the responsibility. What is in this book? <laughs> I, I read this thing. There is a character named Sexy Jesus. 
Oh. Uh, who may or may not be the actual Jesus, but he's definitely got hot abs and uh, walking around uh, looking good for the entire five volume series. And yeah. he says eh, he says all the terribly offensive things you would hope a, a character named Sexy Jesus would say. Oh, and it's, um, I think it's wonderful. It makes me laugh. Lots of folks. Yeah. Uh, I've been uh, delighted to see, share my sense of humor, and are also very much enjoying the book. But I'm just waiting because it's it's countdown. I've already had a, a few people. My proudest review uh, of just about any was uh, two words. It was just too satanic. Was, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. That's metal. I'm Did it. doing the work that I want to do in this world. Yeah, too satanic. Wow. I grew up to be who they told me not ever to grow up to be in Sunday school. Did it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's cool. And that's that's available. Uh, where can I find the book, David? Oh, sure. It's uh, available wherever fine ebooks are sold. So if you right. uh, you got yourself a Nook, you got yourself uh, yeah. a Google Play account, you got yourself a Kindle, my guy, get yourself the book of David, or you can just get the paperback. Yeah, that's great. Uh, and one day, probably never an audiobook, <laughs> but not this day. Never say never, right? 